like Hey, you. Ruben, explain what Week in the Decadence, because someone that doesn't have an idea, they understand a pride parade, right? Yes. What is a weekend of decadence? How Precisely did that even start? That. It is just, it, it started by the homosexuals. It's, I guess, their version of Mardi Gras. And, uh, you know, Mardi Gras, you're not supposed to, you know, show breasts. Of course, they get away so with that. So much frenzy out there, you can get away with that. But in, in, when the gay community, something they called, uh, you know, uh, decadence weekend. And to show you how perverted it is, the regular drunk on that's Bourbon Street will say, you guys, they, you guys need to go over there. We thought we were bad. It's those guys down your street. regular drunk that has a pocket full of condoms. He's thinking he's an angel. Down there. Compared to what's and so he hasn't been to decadence. I, if, if, I, if, I've been in New Orleans for plenty of... of I, I know exactly what happens in New Orleans. It's, uh, it is decadent. It is... Uh, it is well, pushing the envelope. If you've got video of that, uh, well, hold on. Uh, Actually, that's just one street, fellow. We can uh, talk about uh, San Francisco and crash uh, thing. We do have video, and I want to show people. We have an intro video because I got to really introduce till we get to the full video of what it's like. So, um, TJ, if we could get that video up uh, and show people what it's like. The first video is of one of your fellow street preachers, and I believe someone's pouring uh, beer all over him. Shame on you! God wants to give you eternal life. God wants to give you salvation for free. Yet you reject it. You reject it. You don't have to continue rejecting. You need to bow down right now and call upon Jesus Christ. You need to bow your heart to Him. Humble yourself before Him. of one of your fellow street preachers, some guy just comes up, takes a cup of beer, just right in his face. As far as the megaphone, they're going to go after with beer, as you've seen here. That's precisely what happened. Right, and then another, another girl that's drunk takes up for the preacher, and then she has a shouting match Yes. with, with the other gentleman. Yes, Credit your so editor, I, because the nudity and the cussing that takes to actually try to sift through all of this, it, it, is, it is wicked. And, and again, it gives us a, just a bit of a 2020 of what God went through when he decided to pull the plug on Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's just one street. I can, I can point the finger to Castro Street in San Francisco. It, it's everywhere you have homosexuals. It is infested with sin, and it overlaps in the community, and uh, guys like they us, kill. they don't want to just stop our freedom of speech. They would like to kill us. Well, why do you think people get so angry at you guys when you're coming down the street? Because of our political oh. belief. It's because of our political, our, our religious stand. We, you know, God does not uh, have uh, any favor with this. And so uh, we're not here to, uh, when I go to New Orleans, I'm not going to run for My mayor. Concept is not to kiss babies and hand out cigars. I can care less whether I offend everybody. I do not want to offend God. And, and this man should know that his best friend in Tampa is Larry because the churches don't want to tell him that he's wrong he's willing to risk himself to do that and the best friend would be Larry and we're blunt we are as blunt and as bold as a sin in the street you think we're blunt we just we just are there to balance out the teeter-totter if it wasn't that blunt then God would pull us out of the bullpen to go some other places but when guys like us show up we're trying to balance out the sin that's taking place in the street and so uh, they can't stand it uh, they would like to kill us if it were not for the law if it were not for police uh, our first five minutes on the weekend of decadence there were three four arrests within the first uh, 15 minutes when we were out Let there. Let me ask you this, do you have, uh, where you have people, do you convert people on the street? Do you get people to start reading the Bible and following the concepts? Yes, I believe Larry on his website does show uh, two people. One fella who actually said uh, he is gay and he realized it is a bad lifestyle. He's on his knees and he's weeping. 
It does happen. Uh, I am willing uh, to go there to get injured, to be spit on, to go to jail, uh, to be killed just for that one guy. And sometimes we don't expect to have converts. We're planting seeds. We're watering seeds to the hope that somebody else can reap that harvest. Now what you see on decadence is not planting or watering. We're not, we're not in that opposite. You're there to confront. We're there as a fertilizer group. We're there to plant the fertilization that somebody else can right. one day reap that harvest. So yeah, go ahead, something, something that um, they don't realize, they're so deceived that they don't even know what love really is. Because the most loving thing a Christian can do for a sinner, for anyone, is to show them where they stand before a holy and just God. Okay, if you're on the other side of an angry God, and I know it, and I don't warn you, well, that's pretty wicked of me, isn't it? So we're out there because we care about them. We're showing the love of God to them, warning them, bringing them to a knowledge of their sin so that they can repent. And they're calling that hate. See, that's what part of the problem is, uh, Chris. Um, uh, they're trying to play God. And Absolutely there's, there's, there's not. There's only one person that can do that, and it's very clear in the Bible. It says, "Judge not, lest ye be judged." It's right. really preach the and, gospel. Have and, you ever voted? And uh, it's uh, have you ever it's, voted? It's unfortunate. You know, we have li we have literalists in in the biblical community. People that that take the word the word of of the Bible as it is it is it is spelled out as it is, is written and then there are interpretationalists in the christian community um, the sodom and gomorrah story it, it actually has nothing to do with homosexuality um, in in the bible i would encourage our viewers there's going to be a uh, documentary that is going to be coming through the area probably sometime later in the fall it'll be available via video the first part of the year called for the bible tells me so which is a great video it was at the, the yeah, it's, a shame Lair point, it's a shame larry didn't Judge get a chance to come in Unless you be judged, it says right here, judge righteous judgment. Well, that's says, what your version of the Bible says, Larry. Well, there, that's are what lots, the Bible says. there are lots of different versions what? of the Bible. That's, that's um, ridiculous. And it, it, are you saying we're not supposed to judge anybody? No, what I'm saying is, is that the, the, there is only one person that ultimately comes to judge each of us. Uh, so we're not to our, judge in, anybody? In is that life. what you're trying to well, tell me? Well, you know, I, you're not supposed to judge people with using the Bible as you're trying to act as God. Um, I think it's no, this is my yardstick. This is how I place my judgment. Well, Much like you. And to say we're not supposed to judge is, is a bit far-fest. Well, you, you know, know it. You know, uh, Reuben, again, you, you can interpret things the way you choose to interpret them with the Bible that you choose There's to, a book to in read. the Bible called Judges. Yeah, there, how can uh, you say uh, we're not supposed to uh, judge? Uh, Reuben, ahead, we got a viewer. Let's just see what the viewer has to say. Viewer, you're on the air. What's your name and what's your comment or question? Hey, uh, my name is Ben. Um, and Go ahead, Ben. Hey, and I've called... Um, the gentleman's show before. Um, Mark, I'm assuming. Yes, yes, which I have the utmost respect. And, and what's your point, Ben? Uh, my point is this. I am a religious person. I do go to church. I am a Christian, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a way to do things, and I don't agree with the way these gentlemen are going about it. It appears to me that they are causing a lot of disorder, which is the number one rule that God is not disorderly, first of all. Um, and it seems to me they're causing a lot of, of just, it's kind of belittling a little bit. If you if you take a look at those tapes, um, there's there's ways to go about things. And uh, right. I, I really don't think that they're going about it the right way. Well, thanks for the point, Ben. Now, this is what I want to ask you guys, because he just brought up a good point. What do you think about the prosperity um, preaching, like a Joel Olstein? People say he teaches the prosperity Bible. Uh, Ruben, what's your take on, on someone like that? Uh, I believe that Joe is in it for, I mean, Olstein is in it for, for money. He's in it to tickle people's ears. Uh, if a man really is serving God, um, he's going to stand up for God's principles. Uh, to say God is going to bless you, he wants you to be rich, how can a person actually believe that in China? or Afghanistan, or Pakistan, or any of the stands. It, it's just more of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a religion in America. It's more, there's more hypocrites, uh, believe it or not, in those churches than there are on Weekend of Decadence. We have there's Ted, more, we have there's Ted, more hypocrites. We have Ted Hager to thank for that. Um, who was recently uh, found out to be visiting someone using the Bible to condemn all sorts of things and having one of these huge mega churches in Colorado and uh, recently found out that uh, he was visiting a male prostitute in Denver named about Mike that Jones. The sodomite goes undercover in the church and actually runs a big old mega church. Can you believe that? A sodomite would pretend and it's, to be a and it's, and it's a lot more common than it is not, Chris. Uh, Those sodomites there is, are everywhere. There is so much hypocrisy.